The usual challenge with grabs and daggers on Tomrak is clamping. Clamping it in the Tomrak knife jig. If you try to clamp it the usual way, first of all, it's not easy. Second, as soon as you move your dagger, it's the jig slides off. There are two ways to clamp a dagger. The first method is by using a piece of non-slip material. It can be a piece of non-slip mat or a scrap of a suede. In the past, I sharpened a few daggers this way and it works. I showed this method in my previous video. We will quickly illustrate how we do that. Open wide. Disadvantages are that this clamping is less secure and allows you to grind only into the wheel. This way. Because the wheel rotates into the blade, it continuously pushes the blade into the clamp and helps to keep it clamped, so to say. But if you try to grind with the wheel rotation, the wheel rotation will pull the blade out of the jig. Um, it is still possible to hone on the leather wheel, but if you attempt to do that on your paper wheels, the intense paper wheel rotation will pull the blade out of the clamp. The advantage is that you do not have to modify the knife jig. The second method requires a modification to the knife jig, but it provides for secure clamping. We glue a 5 mm strip of plastic to the ends of the knife jig using some super glue. Why plastic? We need something strong, but do not want it to use metal so that not to scratch our blade, the blade that we sharpen. I use a piece of plastic cut from the flexible cutting mat from here. As you remember from our experiments on the effect of chopping boards on sharpness, these cutting mats are very unfriendly to the edge and we advise against using them. Since it is good for nothing, I thought maybe I can use it for clamping daggers. And now I will show you how to climb the dagger step by step.
So we put the first layer of the cloth tape the usual way. Place the jig on the blade, align it parallel to the edge to be sharpened and mark at the end of the clamp. Next, step back 5 mm from this mark, which is the width of our plastic strip, and mark the second line. Put two additional layers of cloth tape along the second line. I'm using cloth tape of a different color simply to give you a better visual. This way we are forming sort of a step. Now we can clamp. Tighten the first screw really, really well. As we clamp our dagger jig, the plastic strip clamps in front of that extra cloth tape, securing again the blade sliding. This method of clamping is so secure that allows you to grind as we do any common knife, against or with the wheel rotation. With this clamping you have no limitations and can hone on paper wheels if you have them. Obviously, by this modification, you dedicate one knife jig exclusively for clamping daggers. So, well, maybe it's not a dagger. Maybe it is a knife where you want to grind its false edge into a double edge. So, for example, with this knife, if we grind its false edge into a double edge, we will turn it into a serious fighter. This jig allows us to clamp from the edge side. Any blade, even hollow ground, is not a problem. 